can I ask you guys a really yeah. quick question on this too? Because I'm I'm very interested in the. I love that black look. I, I mean, really, yeah. this look in general. Like you know, I'm mm-hmm. I'm cool with that. How do you believe that black is going to hold up over the long term, color wise? Is that a big fading thing, or do you just lean into the fade? Oh, you mean as far as durability, not not trend. Well, I mean, I guess kind of both, okay. right? Like, I mean, how's it going to look in 10 years in general? I, I, and I, yeah. I, I would say durability wise, it should hold up as good as any other, you know, dark paint or dark siding. Um, you know, I mean, they, because it's formulated, you know, for that black color. So whenever you get that exterior black paint, they have, you know, they, they put certain chemicals in it to make it last. So um, durability wise, I wouldn't really be scared. What do you think? Like as far as a trend wise, do you think black will hold up? Um, <clears throat> you know, I personally love the black look, but not because it's trendy. I mean, I have um, some of my my favorite um, designs from like design magazines, and and um, uh, there's a there's a Danish cottage that I absolutely love, and it's like a not quite charcoal, it's a little bit grayer, but probably because it's faded over time, right? And it has white trim, but not like white trim with all of the details like we like to do in this country, like the edge banding on the corners and things. It just has just the white and the rest of it's black. It's classic, it's timeless, yeah. it looks amazing. It like kind of melts into the landscape that's around it. So from that aspect, again, it's where's the house right. and what what looks right in that space. Sometimes if you put a big black house in the middle of a bunch of not, it's either gonna look amazing or, it's going to stand out. I It can be a very modern look, but as your homeowner did in this case, you know, she used Ipe on the front to warm it up. And it's a classic, you know, cottage uh, style house. So I think that I, I like the look. And there are people that say just like white kitchens, you know, white kitchens are out, right? And nobody wants to do like all white anymore. But at the same time, if you have a kitchen with sub- white subway tile, it kind of never goes out of style. Right. So there's an aspect of it that's more classic, I think, than very specific colors that come in trend, you know, or come sure. on trend. Sure. Yeah. Like those two, white and black are always going to, they'll never be trendy and they'll never be out of style. Right. I mean, yeah, they're, they're just, classic. it's just white and black. Yeah. Right? yeah. And and also the black, it depends on when, when you talk about the durability, I think it depends on what are you putting it on? Is it a vinyl that's a black vinyl? Right. Number one, is it a fiber cement that's been painted? Is it a stain? Is it like a like a Cabot semi solid, you know, true black stain that's meant for exteriors? Um, and that's going to have that's meant to patina over time, you know. Yeah. So do, depending on the material that you do use and what you put on it, whether it's a stain or a paint, it's that's going to tell you the story. And also, is your sun facing south or like right. how much right, rain right, you right. Get? What's the, what's the weather <laughs> right. like? I mean, it all that's all var- variable. Right, right. 